guys, welcome back, this is me Bruce with another episode of High Voltage and I've just loaded up Boom Beach and let me check what's, go uh, what's going on here, there's a notification uh, Boom Beach live stream, watch Nick at Night's live stream for attack strategies Oh, I don't know if I do want to watch that, so better close that window fast and I see I am in the position to upgrade my machine gun to level 4, how cool is that, there we go, bam, 2 hours 10k wood, pretty expensive, pretty long waiting time. Okay guys, um, this is basically part 3 of my NPC series because I'm very, very, very surprised um, about the huge amount of NPC bases and it is incredible, there are so many new NPC bases, I cannot believe it. But let me quickly check the defense lock first or better say activity lock and someone raided me successfully but when I look at his boost, this is no wonder and no surprise, so I better claim the reward and go to the NPC bases. And I already uploaded two parts and I was, uh, after the first part, I thought that's it, no more NPC bases. And then there ca uh, came the second part and, you know, I didn't uh, open the game, uh, enter a day and then I open it and there are so many new NPC bases and so I did part two. And today I look at it and again, so now I would say let's go for part three. And the first one I see here that, I've, that I have never seen before is Gauntlet or Gauntlet 2. So let's got it and see what's up uh, with that. And by the way, I'm not boosted or anything. And uh, this time it looks a little bit, they're all looking kind of, kind of similar, with, but with a different setup. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, the rocket launchers are pretty weak and I think I will ignore them. Um, I think I will go over let me think. I will go over the right side, so let's attack, yes. And I will first take out that boom cannon here, that's for sure. And I think I will go with two artillery shells. Um, nah, I might go with three, this is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, I think I will go with a barrage now and see how that goes. And maybe the mortars will go down too. This is actually looking pretty, oh, this went pretty well actually. Okay, very good, very good. So what else? I think I want to take out that boom cannon here too and I will again go with one barrage and one artillery shell. And that should do the trick and it is going down except for the mortar that is still standing and I still have so much GB so I will take out the two flamers there including the mortar that went well too and now let me quickly check the mortar in the beginning is not a problem I will shock the cannons on the right side so I think I will go with two more artillery shells here and this is a little bit of a waste now, but it doesn't really matter. So one barrage here and one more artillery shell there. And then it is pretty much good to go. And I don't know why um, the barrage failed to take out a cannon. This is very surprising. A barrage failed to take out a cannon. What is up with that? Okay, so now we're good to go. And I think I will land the heavies first and I will land the most. The, the mature part, uh, uh, I can't speak again, unbelievable. I will uh, land the main part of heavies on the right side and then maneuver to the right side, I think. Yes, I will do that as soon as the flamer is down. Come on, let's go over there now. The landing was kind of messed up, but that's all right, not a problem. One more shock there to make sure that the cannons can't pick me up. And then I will relocate into the corner because I do, I do not want to get picked up by the uh, rocket launchers and so I need to come in from a very nice angle and I'm waiting for another shock which should come in in a second there we go shock bam where's the shock here's the shock there we go and I think I might lose one or two heavies because I played it pretty sloppy but then again it might work out without any casualties uh, yeah I lost again one heavy because I really played it sloppy but that's all right uh, gauntlet goes down gauntlet two and that's the first NPC base so now let's go to the second one uh, what which is the next one? I think there is one called nailed. How fucking cool is that? You got nailed or whatever um, this, In any way nailed this, this is a very extremely funny name again for an NPC base and this time super uh, Supercell was really really creative with the naming because last time it was uh, you know shock therapy Okay, that was actually now I think now that I think about it quite funny too or locked lock lock this, this was the worst NPC base I hated it so much uh, there were so many uh, holiday blasts was also so annoying such an annoying uh, NPC base 
Uh, but the new NPC base is there much cooler now. Um, so I really appreciate the effort there and it gives a totally new um I, uh, what nah, I totally knew what to say. Um uh, uh well, I don't know how to call it perspective or um you know it's not a layer that is added to the game but more variety so more more fun more yeah just more new stuff more new stuff so um you know I don't get bored and this is very important because you know um once in a while the game just needs new content to to keep up its exciting its, its exciting um yeah phew. It's exciting a style of gameplay and let's go with a shock there because apparently the sniper towers pick up on heavies quite fast and there's one heavy that is severely hurt already which is kinda odd that the sniper towers would be that powerful but yeah they are so um, that's that and I think it will go with even more critters there and do I have any, any heavies that are wandering off? It seems there's no heavy wandering off and I think I will lose, yes I lost again one heavy and it might be the case that I lose even more troops now. Um, I think, okay, I only lost one heavy, that's alright. Uh, that, that, that one heavy got actually nailed. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So let's go to the next one. <clears throat> this time no intel, only one fragment. But that's alright, I will pick up that chest here, that treasure chest. Uh, oh, there's holiday blast, I hate it so much. Fucking, fucking holiday blast. Okay, the next one is Thud. So let's see what Thud is all about. And um, okay, this looks very similar to Lock. And uh, what is up with the rocket launchers? The rocket launchers are pretty far in the back. And I think I will take out two or one. We will see. I will definitely need to clear the boom mines here in the beginning because this is very important. They will destroy my heavies, and I do not want to have that. I don't want my heavies to get picked up by boom cannons. Uh, boom mines and that went actually pretty bad so I will need an artillery shell for those two Okay, and now I think I will first go with the rocket launcher before I clear more boom mines because the remaining boom mines can be cleared with critters and I want to hold off on that because I need the critters for the landing to safely land my troops and now that should be good enough I think and I might even take out that one boom cannon here because then I think I won't even need uh, any critters for the landing and I think I will go over the right side right away. So okay, this went very well. There we go, bam. And now I should be in a very good position to land my troops and I think I will land one boat of heavies, then four boats of sukkas and then three boats of heavies and immediately maneuver to the right side and then go with one box of critters already so that the shock launcher gets distracted and then I will go with the first shock here so this is looking very good and I think I need to relocate one more time there we go one more critter box and I think I will go with a mad kit now and my troops are in very good position and that should go down in seconds and the are doing the thing working the headquarters and bam down it goes and I think I lost again one or two heavies probably due to the boom cannon fire i'm not entirely sure oh very cool i'm getting a prototype i think this is the power rod is it yes the power rod plus two shards now nah, fragments that's pretty pretty pathetic but yeah anyway better than nothing and so let's uh, refinish the troops i won't uh, jam them up because there's no need it's npc bases and go to the next one hammered this is again a very funny title nailed and hammered you can interpret that in whatever way you want. I'm hammered. Uh, oh, oh, this one looks very funny. Very, very, very funny. Okay, let's attack. Oh, I love bases like that. This looks so cool. And I will go the extra mile here and I will come in from the right side because going from the left would be too boring. And so I really want to take out any single defensive building that is on this map except for maybe the mortars in the back because there's really no need to take them out. And now let me check. Yes, there is this shock launcher. I will definitely take out that shock launcher. This will make it so much easier. And I will also take out a few of the mines here with one barrage. And we will see how that goes. How many, how many mines are actually going down. Quite a lot. And now one artillery shell for the shock launcher. And I still have plenty of GBE. Oh, this was accidental. There we go. Plenty of GBE, so we'll also take out that boom cannon here 
and it will definitely need one more barrage if it is a maxed out boom cannon so this is looking good and now because i still have so much gbe i will toss one more artillery shell here and take out the remaining mines which were uh, worked pretty well and now i'm ready to land my troops one two three four and the rest of the group and toss the first critter box right there and this time I will be a little bit more careful. The sniper towers, this is amazing. They pick up on my heavies really pretty fast. This is quite surprising. And But I can shock so many buildings on, on, on one shock. And oh, oh, do you see that? Not all uh, not all Sukas were, um, could land on the right side. So some of them landed on the left side. This was totally surprising. I didn't even realize that there's one landing craft which landed on the left side. I have to keep that in mind. I will now toss a barrage there because I really want to take out the boom mines there and go with another critter box there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And it's uh, only a matter of seconds now. The heavies are approaching the headquarters. Uh, the Sukas doing their thing. I will toss one more mad kit there just because I can. And yeah, down it goes. Hammered. Hammered got hammered. And wow, I'm getting another power rod again, which is really cool. And this time uh, a shard too. One fragment and one intel. This is pretty much uh, for one NPC base. And of top, uh, on top of that, almost uh, 135k iron. And this went pretty well, actually. Pretty well. And yes, so I think I didn't lose any troops, did I? No, I didn't lose any troops. Okay, very good, very good. And let me check, there's another one, blue boom, how cool is that? Blue boom, and what happened there? Is there another one? Ah, this is exit road, we already got that one. So I won't do that again, I will only do the new NPC bases. And by the way guys, um, if you want me to do um, a specific NPC base, please let me know. And I will try to do it. Um, uh, I think I said that once before and then I forgot about it, so um, apologies sometimes, you know, I just I, I just forget about it, so if you want uh, me to do a, a particular NPC base, just uh, drop me a line or remind me and I will do it. And um, what will I do here? I think I will go frontal, I will go very frontal, I will take out the boom cannon. The boom cannon, if it's gone, it's gone, that's always good. And I think I will also take out the uh, two boom cannons on the left side. No, I think I won't. I will take out the boom cannon here in the back because it will take forever until I reach it. And so um, I can shock the boom cannons in the beginning, but um, it costs way too many shocks to shock the boom cannon in the back. So we'll take out the boom cannon in the back and then go from there. And I will also be able to take out that one mortar together with the boom cannon. Very nice. There we go. This gives me... Oh, I accidentally tossed the smoke over there. And by the way, guys, I always switch back to smokes as soon as I've tossed my gunboat abilities. Because if I accidentally toss a smoke, it's not a problem. And so I do that all, uh, all the time. I switch to the smokes um, as soon as I've done the, the bombing. And then I switch back and, you know, go with the flow. And so let's wait for the next. Okay, I think another heavy got already picked up, which is kind of unfortunate. I now need critters or a shock. There's the shock coming in nicely. And shock the boom cannon over there. And maybe I need to toss a medkit over here to support my heavies against the flamers. And go from there. I will get the critter box very soon. I will uh, toss the critter box right in the middle to distract the cannons there. And yeah, pretty much let my troops do their thing. And this time I had actually uh, quite a few uh, casualties, but this is no surprise because I went frontal. And yeah, blue boom. And how cool is that? How crazy is that? I'm getting another power rod. What is happening? This is three power rods in a row and plus a shard. And uh, yeah, this time I lost five heavies due to all the cannons and the boom cannons and the flamers in combination. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think those are all the NPC bases that I haven't covered yet. And um, so let me quickly check just for the sake of completion. I will do Holiday Blast and then close the video. Holiday Blast is one of the old NPC bases, but I will do it anywhere. And um, I do have the standard strategy for Holiday Blast, which works pretty well most of the time. Sometimes I lose a few few suckers if I'm unlucky and they walk uh, too fast and the mortar picks up on, on them. But um, this is, you know, this happens occasionally and not really anything you can do about it except for boosting your suckers so much that one uh, single uh, mortar shot can't kill them anymore. 
and so now let's take out the boom mines here and there we go and that should do the trick and now let's land the troops the heavies first and i give them a little bit of time to get a little bit of uh, you know ground here before i land the sukas because as i just said um, the sukas get up uh, get picked up so easy by those mortars so i really try to make sure that the heavies are in front and now i will go over there and go with two smokes and the third smoke and that's pretty much it and now i'm ready to toss my critters uh, to distract all the defensive buildings and i think i tossed the critter box a little bit too early i will now go with another shock here because the flame is doing so much damage to my heavies i really have to be careful i don't want to lose a heavy again and yeah when is the next shock coming and there it is and now toss the shock there there we go and that's pretty much it and down goes okay one more second and i think i just lost that suka as i said with the mortar so annoying and down goes holiday blast and I still had one box of critters left. And I'm getting a crystal. What is happening, guys? How cool is that? A shard. No, a fragment. A fragment and a crystal. This went actually very, very well. This was really a good NPC base run. And I think that's now all the new NPC bases. I've covered them all, I think. And maybe there are even more that would be so cool. And I will now close the video and I will also do a Dr. Terror run after that. But I will quickly need to recharge my batteries uh, before I do that. And then I will also check out what is happening. Oh, there's an attack. Yeah, um, come on guys, let's have a look at the attack. What's he's taking down Quantum? Okay, yeah, um, down it goes. Anyway, I will do a Task Force Operations video later on because I don't want to mix them up and Task Force Operations are pretty special. And as you can see, uh, we are doing Operation Sword Grapes and this time not as uh, successful as last time, but still good enough. And um, by the way, our rank is, uh, I don't know if we are ranked yet, but still we have six operations doing it. It's going pretty well, but yeah, I have to close now because I will keep that for the next video. I want to do a Task Force Operations video, which is only, you know, dedicated to that and this one is an mtc base run so let's not mix them up and yeah i hope you enjoyed that one guys and see you soon for the next video goodbye